I just wanted to explain to you guys what happened yesterday uh, because I think it's kind of interesting and it's a good lesson. Uh, Friday, um, and, and this is also about support and resistance. I'm sure you guys have heard it and kind of gone, what the heck is that? Um, so support and resistance is kind of like supply and demand. So when you see that low, low, low spot on the left-hand side, that is where it pretty much stopped, or I think it might have been swinging up a little bit, but that's pretty much where it stopped on Friday, okay? And that, I mean, it hit a low of uh, about 1,780, maybe? 1,780. I have not seen it go down that far in... I, I can't remember seeing it go down that far, actually. And then at the highest high, you see it's at about... 2,670, 2,070. That is over a 200 pip rise between the end of the day or the end of the New York session on Friday and then the beginning of Asia on Monday. And so it took this ginormous heave upwards and that's because people on Friday were seeing that gold was totally undervalued. I mean, at 17, 7, 1780, uh, you, you, you'd have investors buying the stuff like chocolates, you know, just, just crazy going and buying and buying and buying. And that's because it, it was, the price was just so low. There's, um, so then they kept buying and buying and really fast. I bet there must have had a lot of open buy orders on the Friday. Um, and it probably that's what shoved it up so high and then when it up went when it went over 2000 and well over um well 2070 um that's way over what the market could support okay so then what happened is people went oh my goodness this is way overpriced there's nowhere to go but down let's get out of here and so they started selling and if you see it go skyrocketing like that especially over a weekend um, or anytime it just goes whoo, way up like that then you're almost assured that it's going to drop back down to very similar to where it started from and then it'll even out where it's normally supposed to be so if you notice the second low um which happened in asia and it's off to the right there. Um, that hit almost the same low. Not quite the same. Not quite as down. But almost the same low as it hit Friday. Okay. And then it came back up. But just not much. Up to between 1855 to 1870. Which is where we see normally around Asia hours. Is between 1855 and 1870. So after, so after that high high. Everybody's selling and selling and selling to get out. You had an area of consolidation right there in the very middle, but not much. And then, yeah, it popped up, but then it just started going down, 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 down again. So this, remember I was talking about on the other video, if you watched it, if you didn't, oh, well, <laughs> joking where I said, if you're very sure of the direction that the market's going, you can set this to only buy, which would be only long, or only short, which is only sells. Because when it started going down again, when it started going down again, you should be, it should be only doing sells. Um, but just be aware that once it gets down to a certain point, like even the 1850 mark, you should set it back to um, doing buys and sells. Because what happened to a lot of people, and I've seen this in a couple of different conversations um, in different groups, that uh, people hit maximum drawdown uh, at the beginning of Asia last night. The, this night, I'm, I'm talking in the middle of the night here. Um, so sorry if I'm a little bit bully. Uh, so basically, because it had no more support, people were selling, they're getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out. I actually did a bit of manual trading there, um, and I was selling in higher, much, much, much higher lot sizes. And I was able to make $2,500 um, on my $100,000 demo account here. 
So I was pretty happy about that, but I know that if the people who just use the EA, and if you had it, and if you had it on, just let me show you. If you had your lot size um, here, if you had your fixed lot size, um, you know, it was pretty small like that. Like I said, what you should, that's what I might have if um, the market was barely wiggling, but I knew it was going to wiggle. <laughs> you know, it was obviously, and it was going down. So, I mean, I was putting in lots of not just 0.02, no, about one and a half to 0.8 to 0.4, depending on how I felt about it, but I just kept putting them in. And I did not panic, which I normally would. I would have panicked. Oh, I didn't show you. Sorry. Yeah, step size 30. If you had that on at a low point, like 30 or 50, then it was putting in a crap load of of buys as it was coming down. And that would have sucked your money out even faster. I hope that none of you went past drawdown um, and that, you know, you had your equity protector set up so that it would stop that from happening because that's really all you can do in a situation like that if you don't know what's happening and it's just going down and it's placing more buys and you have to stop it. Um, you might even have to turn off the EA for a while and just ride it out and see what happens. Or if you're real confident and you've been studying this stuff like I have been on YouTube and stuff, <laughs> then you kind of know what to expect. So don't discard YouTube as a sense of as a source of knowledge. So there you go. I thought I would just explain what happened last night um, to gold because I'm sure some of you've got uh, a few questions and there's a little bit of explanation about support and resistance. Thank you. Have a good one.